Right, here we are, hole number two. We're going to take our first look at this, the master division. And what I'll typically do for this one, especially with winds like that, is just go out this direction. Now I'll typically play with Guardian on this hole. So you'll see that that's the change that I'm going to make. And let's see if we can't land up here kind of close to max. I'm just going to kind of max this out. And what I would typically go here is maybe eight rings. So that's more or less what I'm thinking. Maybe just a hair more, eight and a half, somewhere in there. You can also see what I'm doing with my curl. So what this curl should do is definitely wind effect. It should be able to pull it back towards the middle of the fairway to kind of keep it out of that rough. And you can see when you have good uh, wind effect play um, and uh, ring play, you should be able to get very good down the center of that fairway there. But uh, there is many different ways that that ball can hop along that fairway. So you do got to be pretty precise with the way that your ring play is. Otherwise, you go off the line a little bit and you can miss on the right. You can miss on the left. It's, it's a very touchy fairway. So you do want to just be kind of precise with how you do it. Now you will see guys sometimes go this way. Um, this wind ideally you know you may not want to go this way at all because this second shot with the uh, wind effect is going to make it really tough and you can see that just rolls into the rough even if it would have stayed in the fairway though playing this wind effect on that second shot with that angle is a very tricky tricky angle to do so here you can see you know we're up towards max a little bit and what i'll typically do is just kind of you know, seven, eight bars. Let's try to hit kind of like a stop shot more or less here. You can see with what I'm trying to do. Now do keep in mind that ball guide's gonna stretch out a bit. So you can see with how I'm trying to guess this fairway a little bit with how it's going to play. And we are definitely going to underplay rings here. So I'm thinking eight, eight rings. Also, you got to keep in mind that you're pulling to lower ground, which will typically cause the ball to land shorter. So you do got to be a little bit careful with that, but you can see that, uh, you know, that ball guide stretches out. And if you can get that adjustment dialed, um, you know, you can give it a pretty decent run that way. It, it's really challenging this way. And you can see, especially with the mistake, you know, you essentially just got to protect yourself from going in this rough and bunker. You wouldn't want to go for this pin. You just want to play enough of the wind effect and curl to just kind of keep it to the left of the hole intentionally if you were to make this mistake. But even with the sniper shot, it's going to be, you know, kind of a tough little curl shot that you're going to have to hit over top of the bunker to be able to get this hole out from this direction. So that's more or less all you'd want to do, you know, keep it away from the bunker, just kind of guide it up there to the hole, and you can see easy tap in for birdie. Um, you know, I may try to go over that way with my next guide, especially since I pulled this off, and you can see that, uh, you know, kind of more or less the goal of that. So I may try to go that way, but I'll show you that it's just kind of really tricky the way that you got to go about setting it up over there especially with the wind direction because I do like going that way but with a right to left wind it makes it very tough to go that way and actually hold it out but uh, good luck with that all I'll see you on the next one